Surprise review! Since I've taken on Nickelodeon's Golden Boy twice, I suppose that I should take a look at Cartoon Networks. While SpongeBob did have some originality in the beginning, Johnny Tess was creatively bankrupt from the get-go. Hey, let's take a good cartoon that we canceled a while back and rehash it! It's not that Johnny Tess is just a rehash. It's that they rehashed it in the worst possible way. The inspiration, let's call it, for this show comes from Dexter's Lab. All I did was change the spotlight from Dexter to Dee Dee, changed everyone's gender, and split Dexter into two. You know, to make idiots think that they're doing something different. Of course, one of those things I just listed is their fatal flaw, and that's changing the spotlight to Dee Dee. Dee Dee always broke into Dexter's Lab at no provocation in order to annoy her brother. And now that's our protagonist. Johnny Test is an unlikable douchebag. Yeah, that's pretty much the problem with Johnny Test. Johnny Test himself. However, that doesn't stop some people from liking the show. Most of it. Here, however, is one episode that even Johnny Test fans don't like. Yeah, I am super excited. How many weeks until November 23rd? Oh, oh god. This is gonna be... This is gonna be an adventure. The episode starts with their talking dog, Dookie. Yes, they have a talking dog. Just roll with it because he's the best character on the show. He wants to know where Johnny is. He's a fish. Well, that escalated quickly. Yes, they really turned him into a fish. And that's because they do experiments on him all the time. Don't worry, though. He lets them do it because he's an idiot. His twin sisters are testing if dolphins respond to trash talk. Apparently they do. And you probably noticed another big problem with this show. None of the jokes are funny. In the slightest. Yeah, it would be satisfying to see the dolphin beat him up. Except Johnny hasn't done anything yet. At all. The twins, Susan and Mary, try to turn Johnny back into a human. But they can't because some water shorted out their transformation machine. And the writers think that it's funny to leave Johnny there suffocating until Dookie puts him into a glass of water. We can't leave you a fish if Dad finds out we're grounded! I just realized something about this show. Every single character is an asshole! Only doing things for their own selfish ends. The twins hurry to try to fix up the machine, and Johnny immediately begins complaining that he's bored because he's an insufferable asshole. Of course, one of the twins gives them money to buy an aquarium or a fishbowl, whatever. And out, and in, and out. What are kids watch, ladies and gentlemen? Ooh, treasure bubbles, so soothing. So relaxing. No wonder test scores are slipping. When Doogie leaves, their neat freak dad comes in. And since the bubbles made Johnny sleep and rise to the top of the bowl, he thinks that Johnny's fish is dead. So he does the responsible thing by neglecting to tell his child about death and flushes Johnny down the toilet. By the way, goldfish do not sleep. When they get tired, they hover in the center of the bowl, barely moving to stop things like that from happening. Johnny ends up in the sewer and he freaks out. Then we cut back to the twins. They fix the machine and their dad comes in to inform him that he had to flush Johnny's fish. And no, the lab isn't a secret in this version because the writers aren't competent enough to work around that plot point. The twins decide to get to work finding Johnny as quickly as possible. Hey, this is a map of the pork belly sewer system. Uh, no it's not. It's a photograph of underneath your sink. Johnny still has an ID microchip implant from that time we turned him into an alpaca. Did I tell you that everyone in this show is an asshole? By the way, that was never an episode, and that's an ass pole. But knowing where Johnny is is one thing. They need to bring him back. So they turn Dookie into a fish. Why not? You just can't break into a manhole, can you? You need to turn the dog into a fish. Johnny is swimming around in the sewer, marveling over everything, until he comes across a giant alligator, which he immediately gives chase. I shouldn't have to tell you that there have been no recorded reports of alligators in the sewer system. It's a stupid urban legend that needs to die. The twins flush Dookie down the toilet while he's panicking about sewer gators that the twins just mentioned. Johnny is about to be eaten when Dookie comes to his rescue. I do believe that there is one fatal flaw in Dookie's plan, and that's the fact that he's also a fish. Or not. They somehow both get away and start swimming. The gator gives chase, and they take defense in an underwater sewer taxi. Did I mention that this is one of the most stupid cartoons ever made? Okay, who flushes a taxi? Hey, that's a pretty good question. Writers, care to answer? No, you brought it up. I don't see why it's too much for you to explain, unless, you know, it's typical for you to pull random crap out of your ass. When the alligator goes away, Dookie and Johnny discover a bunch of random fish. Johnny begins trash-talking the gator to them, and the gator starts biting down on the taxi. Unfortunately, he can't get through, so he uses a fucking chainsaw. I don't believe this! Who flushes a chainsaw?! First of all, you do know that there are other sewer access points besides toilets, right? Secondly, pointing out your own plot holes does not make them go away. They escape the taxi through a hole in the floor because the writers put it there and make their way to the manhole where the twins are supposed to be waiting. They lower a net into the manhole, but the net is too small for all of Johnny's new fish friends. No, but you and me will fit in there! Did I tell you that every single character in this show is an asshole? Oddly enough, except for Johnny in this particular episode, which is weird, since he's usually the worst one. He commands the fish to scatter, and the gator bites the net. 
This gets Johnny to start swimming to the water treatment plant, where apparently organic matter gets sliced up. Sure. Why not? That's not dark at all. Hey, we even get to see the tube towards the plant chop up some garbage. Isn't that great? That's probably gonna happen to our main characters. All of a sudden, Johnny and Dookie get saved by a deuce ex machina. I mean, Mr. Black and Mr. White. These two are secret government agents that should not be involved with this episode. What the hell does Johnny turning into a fish have to do with the government? Uh, what you doing? Saving the day. Wow, well, wow, well, you're not even going to try for an explanation on that, are you? The gator tips over the boat and starts chasing after Dookie and Johnny, and they end up right back in the exact same spot they were before. Uh, guys, was the episode 30 seconds too short or something? Did that have any point whatsoever? No, of course not. They don't make another appearance in the episode. Nothing in this fucking show has any fucking point. Johnny sees a light from up above and swims towards it in order to be saved from the gator and the sewer blade. From up above, they try to jump out of the treatment tanks. The water level is not high enough! Great. I'll be right back. Fucking water puzzles. The gator surfaces and Johnny jumps on its face, tempting it to go down underwater. He starts speeding towards the saw blade with the gator on his tail. The gator chomps on Johnny and gets his nose stuck in the machine, causing the water level to rise. Johnny breaks out of the gator mouth with a waterproof dental drill because asshole. Jump out of here before the gator hits the fan! Wait, what? Jump out of here before the gator hits the fan! You're not. You're really not going there. You, you do realize that that gator just got ripped to pieces in a whirling sewer fan, right? There, there are no words. While Johnny and Dookie are being turned back to normal, they wonder what happens to the gator. Apparently, he was turned into gator bags. Isn't that hilarious? No, no it's not. It's sick and wrong, you fucking morons. Imagine if I put all that saw blade build up together, and then the gator going into the tube. And that's the only reason that Johnny Test fans hate this particular episode. Yeah, everything else. The unlikable characters, dull humor, assholes, they're all par for the course. If you're wondering, that's why Johnny Tess gets its well-deserved bum rap. It's been a long time since I watched this crappy show, but I definitely don't remember it being so stupid. I don't remember ever laughing at it, though. And now I can clearly see why. I actually demand some intelligently written cartoons. On a channel with both Adventure Time and regular show, there is no excuse for this bullshit. That's all I got to say about this for now. Yes, I know I said that the next episode of Infamous Animation was going to be Family Guy's Seahorse Seashell Party, and I will do that one next. I'll admit that I made this episode as quickly as I could to get something out to you guys. Johnny Test episodes are really easy to find, and I needed an 11 minute episode this week. And something that didn't require much articulation. Because our next episode pisses me off to no end. More so than anything I've reviewed thus far. Brace yourselves, people.